with Joe Emerall now, who has uh, been to Israel 38 times. You've got yeah. lots of connections and friends, and daily now you're in conversation what's happening right now. Um, pretty amazing when we mm -hmm. look at all these headlines and what's going on and, and what we're getting online with new services. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, you know, and then we're talking about this book, Target is we, we want you to call and get this. This is big. They're very important, yeah. you know, and w what's amazing to me is that in the midst of, of the terrorism, in the midst of everything that's going on in the land, Jewish people from all over the world are still going back to Israel. Mm. And there's a term in Hebrew, it's called Aliyah. It means going up, going up to the land. And people are going to the land, and it's a fulfillment of end-time prophecy. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I sat down with Joel Rosenberg, who's an expert on the Middle East right. and Bible prophecy. And here's just a little clip about what he had to say uh, regarding Aliyah. Since the ancient Hebrew prophets, uh, they've been telling us that in the last days, mm. uh, meaning the days before the Messiah comes and sets up his, his kingdom on earth, uh, that Israel will be reborn, reconstructed, resurrected as mm. a state, right? We have Ezekiel 37, the valley of the dry bones, yeah. and all this comes back together, and you have an actual geopolitical nation state, Israel in the last days, right. after centuries of it not being there. That's right, miraculous. And so yeah. now, after 1900 years, suddenly you have Israel, it's it's there. Mm -hmm. uh, some people love it, some people hate it, but it's a fulfillment of Bible prophecy. You have Absolutely. Jews returning back to the land yeah. of Israel, resettling there. Uh, again, some people like that, some people hate that, but the Bible said it would happen, and it is, and now we are a part yeah. of that. Well, Jews awesome. are supposed to be rebuilding the ancient ruins and mm. making the deserts bloom. That's what the ancient prophet said. That's what's happening now. Yeah. It's, so when people say, well, you know, end times prophecy, blah, blah, blah. It all, sound, <laughs> it all sounds so ridiculous. Yeah. Except that when you realize these are major prophecies mm -hmm. that even many of our church fathers didn't think for 1900 years would really happen. They yeah. thought maybe that's metaphoric, maybe it's symbolic. You don't literally mean that the geopolitical state of Israel is going to be yeah. there again, that Jews will be back, come on. Yeah, and that's where the and danger of happened. replacement theology came in. Well, Israel's not going to happen, so the church has replaced Israel, right. and we got People into all that have been very that, confused that about this. Yeah. But now that it's happened, now that these huge end times prophecies have mm. happened, now you have to start saying, well, if those happened, maybe all the other prophecies <laughs> will happen too. Uh, and uh, here and here we go in uh, this book, uh, uh, Target Israel by Ed Heinsen and uh, Dr. Tim LaHaye, uh, chapter nine, or pardon me, chapter eight, the miracle of Israel's regathering. Yeah. So as Jews are coming back to Israel this morning, mm -hmm. what are they discovering? Yeah. Well, there there was a major uh, terrorism plot that was thwarted by by Israeli uh, police this morning in Bet Shemesh, which is about 20 minutes west of Jerusalem. Uh, some Palestinian Arabs were sitting outside a synagogue waiting to go in to try and, and kill people. But instead, a school bus pulled up. A school bus pulled up, filled with children getting ready to go to school and just start their normal day. Mm -hmm. And the plan of these two was to get on that bus, and I, I can't even go there to imagine what would happen. Here we have a clip from the Jerusalem Post. Uh, thank God, this is a graphic actually showing us uh, the, the article. We want to make sure we give you proper sourcing and proper, you know, citing of yes, the of stories course. that we give you here on Huntley Street. And I'm just thankful that the police were able to, to intervene and protect those So this, children. this is happening every day, and, and today it's intense. And then if I can just go for a mm. minute, Joe, I've got two articles, one in the Toronto Star, one in Globe and Mail, uh, both uh, similar pictures of the meeting between uh, Putin yeah. and... Um, um, Bashar Assad yeah, of Syria, and uh, now we have uh, Russia and the Russian leader mm -hmm. with military presence in an allied uh, participation with uh, Bashar Assad, and Syria and Israel uh, joined there in that Golan Heights territory, yeah. and at some points only Lebanon separates. I mean, it's just a one-minute flight away. In a yeah, jet. and Iran has has jumped in on that as well, right? Oh, sure, so they're, right, Iran, they're, right, they're right there in, yeah, in, Iran Le and Russia in, in Syria. Lebanon, too. I mean, again, you know... <laughs> This book, to me, could not be more more perfect in its timing. You know, I've said this before, it's called Target Israel, but Israel is really being targeted. And, and this is a book that we want to give to you when you call and make a pledge today or become a monthly member. And we want you to actually read this book so as a believer, as a Christian, you understand what and why is happening in the land of Israel. Yeah, thanks for helping us stay strong here on a regular basis, 100 Huntley Street. We're grateful for that. Target Israel is the book. There you see it. Ed Heinsen 
and Tim LaHaye are the authors. Ed Heisel will be in studio with us next week. We it's are excited about that. 